Hello everyone, let me just find the video real quick. That's the wrong one, that's the right one. And then we will get into our release. Just find it real quick. That one will vibrate. You can see my head, but um, it's just how it works, unfortunately, right now. Okay, there we go. All right. There we go. Oh, oh, hello, Di. D. So this is what we made last week, and we had a tag on the two sides. So, and um, oh, hello, Debbie Hicks. And this is my tag so far. I've added a few more layers to it, and I grunged it up a little bit more because um, I just wanted a bit more grungy, and I've, like, added this bit. And these bits and I've got it back together it's um, very much a patchwork job on the back so don't maybe don't look at the back I think when I like put a backing on it but uh, well I'm definitely gonna put a backing on it but it's not fully decorated yet so that's what I kind of did with our tag that we made through these bits here yes uh, last week oh hello Raquel and Pam and Marie so as you recall last week we did our first mixed media bundle we are doing one for this week however it's not live yet because we have a few options for it as you all know we have been promoting that today is going to be the day of billions of butterflies and the reason for that one is because we have billions of butterfly products now these stencils probably gonna be best if i have a backing sheet so let me just yeah we'll do the orange maybe so first on the marking now I don't have a scribe so I cannot put the links in but they are on the what's new tab in our online store um so first off the rankings is we have a border stencil now I haven't changed my stencil or my rice paper but I definitely have the stamp chosen for tonight so um if any of you have a preference of which stencil you would want to use for tonight's class just put it in the comments and we will see what we can do well hello Diane oh yes I love butterflies too perhaps that's the border stencils so that can go along the border of your pages or coming out of a photo maybe perfect blending brushes and then we're gonna need a bigger sheet of paper these are all gonna need bigger sheets of paper I will be completely honest with you. I'm just going to grab out some that I've been working on in my stash. Well, not really. It's a bit of a test draft. So then we have this seven and three quarter. Let's just double check the size, shall we? It's about eight by eight. It's been eight by eight. Uh, Love Heart Butterfly. This is, was on request of Diane D, who's over on the tube currently. Nanny Dye. Yeah. Dye. So we've got that one there in that size. And then we've got it. And around about six by six. Six by six size. So those butterflies are quite small, very detailed. Well, hello, Michelle and Heather. And then we've got a three this by... This one's like four oh, by about three and a half. Four by three and a half. Let's, I'm going to have to lift that real close. There we go. And then Michelle we've got... Well. No, no, we're, we're still going. And then we've got... The outside. It's so that this is about 11. It's around about 11 by 11. So that's a full page. This is like a half page. This is perfect for anything coming out of a little photo, book, book, mini book. And this is for you, lovely card makers, that we do never, we never forget about. We show them the other things. No, 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 we're getting. We've only done that pile so far. This is all available, and I've only got the first twenty-five of the butterflies on there. Of the rice papers. Yes, so I've got ten to go. Woo, go mum. There's thirty-five. I'm gonna get them done because I'm making the stamps. There's thirty-five rice papers. Just a heads up. So you've got to choose which colour you like. I know, but which which butterfly stencil should we use tonight? Because we've also got the square. As you notice, we're doing something very different. It's not exactly a repeating pattern, but it's organic enough that it looks amazing. It's a kaleidoscope, which is a swarm of butterflies, I found out, about a month ago, and I find it fascinating, so I've remembered it. 
and it's also quite useless information, which is why I've also remembered it. And then we've got our butterflies stamp, which we can make into a repeating pattern or we can do over this. We were supposed to have another butterfly stamp, but we've got to go back to the drawing board because some of it's a little bit too thin. But uh, yes, so we are definitely using this butterfly stamp, I reckon. It will be absolutely beautiful. So we're going to use the butterfly stamp. I don't know which stencil, and we have to choose our rice paper. Now, in the bundle for tonight, uh, when it is available, just text me if you want it or message it in the comments and we'll organise it tomorrow. Uh, we've been quite busy, as you can tell, because uh, product day in May is currently happening and we're releasing 42 products today, which it's not that smart, I'll be completely honest. Um, but because of that, we have been doing a lot and we've also nearly finished off our kits today and all the kits have new forms of products that we've just learned how to make what well, we've just really refined how to make in the last week so um yeah no sleep for the wicked hey uh the wickedly cool so we have 35 rice papers and you might notice that they're very similar to the color cuts and that's because uh, they're the same colours as the colour cuts. So number 30, this is rice paper number 30, will be the same colour as the colour cuts number 30. So you can have matching butterflies that are 2D with your rice paper and then foam up your colour cuts on top to make some 3D effects. We also have, so this is number 34. If you like one of the colours, please shout out. Um, I don't know which one I'm using, literally. I spent... Uh, a good majority of Sunday doing this. Uh, number 28, number 27, sounds like I'm in a auction. Number 31, or oh, bingo. Oh, we have another number 30. We do have a few double ups in here. I will completely be honest with you. I was trying to pick out one of each and I had piles and piles going over top of each other, so I just didn't know if I had them already. So that's number 30 again. I do like the yellow. I will fully admit the yellow, it just catches my eye because I think we could do a lot with contrast with it, but I don't know. Some people are very much against yellow and quite scared of it, and I understand that completely because I'm scared of red. Uh, so this is number 24, 34 or 28. Yeah, I see where you're going with that, Beck. That would be really nice. We'll have a look at both of those. We'll pull them out out of the pile once we have a look at all of them. I think we need to look at all of them just in case. So there's number 23. 27 oh we've got some contradictory votes here number 25 deep blue i do like that 26 we've got number 18 i know they're all so beautiful and they're really nice for effects and all the rest of it and this is number 13 15. We could just look at butterflies all day through class. Why don't we have to make a project? It's number 14. I do like this one. I actually had a dress with butterflies um, in this colour on it and it was white. It was my favourite dress when I was 11. Um, the colour does suit, you know. Anyway, number 16. Uh, and then we've got number 35. I'm not going to do the saying that just came up in my hand. 35. The mum did a high five. Actually, no, that's appropriate. 26 too. Oh, no, no. oh sh shivers me timbers. You can hear me in the background because my iPad decided to work. Number 32. 26. Yeah, see? They're also nice. Number 10. 8. I'm going to try and speed this up because there's so many of them. 5. For all you green lovers. Oh, look, here's another one for green lovers. Number six. Seven. A bit more of an all of colour, I reckon. Have we already done five? I feel like we've already done five. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Nineteen. Yeah, see, thirty-five is lovely as well. Twenty. 17. Oh, this is number one. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number 12. 
number 11. Oh, that actually is quite nice. And number nine. So, we got all those. Uh, Mum's got 25 of them up, so she's got the last 10 to go. So, what were the suggestions? We had 34, 28, 27, and 35. Oh, hello, Gail. Not currently. Uh, one minute. Mother? Yeah? Will the butterflies be available in fussy cut paper? Right. Probably not because they are. Not at this point in time because they are. Not at this point in time because they all are colour cuts. Start with one and use it now one each week. Oh, I wish back, but mum promised that she's going to have even more product for us to use next week, so we know we might uh, I keep changing my favourites. Love deep blues, deep greens, purples, maroons. Right. Well, let's just pull out the ones that are being suggested. If have you got any um, for that you want to suggest uh just put it in the comments and i'll pull them out now and we'll have a look at each one so we had number 20 34 28 27 26 and 35 so that's 34 funny enough this is mum's favorite as well oh 28 i see white multicolored. uh 27 26 of course the green i know how do we choose and uh was number one also a suggestion i believe so number one was a bit further on the par wasn't it i would have put these in number order if i was smart but um i didn't really have that much time i was busy trying to get amelia ready for bed which I think she's hiding in plain sight now so she can avoid going to bed. So we're going to put these well and truly away from our area so then we don't get paint on them, which we're just going to fling them over to Mum's desk very gently and choose one of these. So we've got a few to choose from, like I said. So just limiting our options as we all know. Now... Color wise, I do think these two are the closest, number 34 and 28. I do think this one here is a bit more bluey, so it depends if we want to go for warm tones or cool tones. See, this is a warm, and this is a cool. You can kind of tell the gray is a bit different. Uh, so let's see, what have we got? I kind of want to eliminate number 26 because we did green last week i don't really want to do green again this week so that one there i think a multicolored page yeah probably hey so let's remove the pink then i do love the pink pink is my favorite color i will probably be using this in my own time but not tonight okay so we've got three multicolors. so what do we feel like i feel like if we go for the warm tone one um, because if you know if we use warm time it might promote the weather getting warmer again and that would be really nice for me I don't know about all of you, but I would like it just to go up at just a few degrees All right, so we're gonna go with number 28 So we're going to 28 and then we need to choose our stencil has anyone thought which stencil we could use So you've got the love heart ones. We can choose one of the sides of those. We've got the square. We've got the border I don't feel like we could do justice to the border tonight. I'll be completely honest, we could if we went around the edges, but I want the effect to be full, if that makes sense. So I don't think we'd be able to use it to the full compass of what it would look lovely on, on like a page or something. So we might put that to be used um, for another class maybe. Um, I'm just trying to think it will match Friday night's theme, but I don't know if it will, but, you know, we'll try and get it in there somewhere. So maybe not tonight. You reckon I love heart one? Do you guys want to see how the love heart one works? Because I do like the square, but the square is always going to be amazing. Well, with the love heart ones, these two, the two bigger sizes ain't going to work for us. I'll be completely honest. Uh, because our art journal is so small, they're just going to be too big and we won't get the full effect. And we'll probably get a little bit upset by it. 
Well, at least I will. So maybe um, we either have the small one or the medium one. What do you, what do you think? Medium or small? So hard to choose. I reckon if we go medium. And I'll show you why. So we've got that one, that one and this one. Right, so let's get started, shall we? Let me have a bit of a drink of water and we'll get started on our... Oh, you reckon the small? Hmm... We could go with the small, actually. I was just afraid the butterflies might get a bit lost, but we'll have to be really careful. We'll have to do lots of thin, thin techniques. We'll go with the small. Check the medium over there. Small it is. Use both. Ha! <laughs> Wish, but I've got to think about the bundle. Mum gives me a budget with the bundle. So let's go, shall we? Burning brush in hand. I feel like tonight's going to be an inky type page, but first what I want to come and do... Actually, let's not use the blending brush. Instead, let's use a spray. And go hard and fast, I reckon, with this. And we're going to come in, I think, with our Distress Spray Uncharted Marine. I don't know if this Brits bit on this works, though, so that's probably not a smart idea now that I think about it. Hold up, let me go and get it for one minute. this white lindy smith that i want to use i think sprays might be the way to go tonight so let's have a look sees one minute so we're gonna come in and we're gonna stamp down our butterflies but we're gonna use a distress ink because they move and or you could use a couture ink actually we might use a couture have deco ink because they do move and we want to go for more of the dye so either maybe candy pink bright pink we could go for a mix a mix of colors and we don't really want to add gray we could go for an orange actually let's go emerald you know what i think about it emerald will look really nice Because if you have a look at our colours, the emerald is just going to be... Look at that. I think that colour is going to go really nicely with the rest of our things. So what we're going to come and do is we're going to stamp our ink colour ink pad onto our stamp. Or if we do it the other way, I just want to get less ink on my hands if I do it that way. And then... Come in. Oh, and look how beautiful that works. For us immediately. Look at that. Oh my goodness me. Oh shoot. Oh God, we're doing a tiger we're doing a tiger class whoopsie daisy don't worry just gonna come and stamp in can't really put too much ink on these stamps like they don't absorb it but at the same time you always get a nice sort of print
And then, oh. oh, hi, Diane G. I think I just want to come in. Continue stamping. There we go. So now we've got the butterflies on there, which I think, I know, the stamp is absolutely amazing. Look how cool that effect was. So it only took us a few minutes. Yeah. If I tried drawing all those, we would still be here. Honest to which is what we were doing, by the way. And then what we're just going to come in is we're just going to come with our water mister, and it's on like a bit of like a waterfall effect. It's not the straight pointed one. It's a bit of like a waterfall effect. Oh, we don't want to spray a rice paper. Right, and then we just want them to kind of drip a little. So we're shaking our book up and down. As you can see, the ink's dripping just a teensy bit. And then come in and spray them a bit more while the book is upright. This is our first layer, so we don't really want them to be 100%. So that, I think it looks pretty cool. So we're just going to come in and dry that. I know, said, I know we said that we were going to avoid wet techniques because we're going into the cooler months, but I definitely think it was worth doing that. Well, hello, uh, hello, Diane G, if I forgot to say hello. Oh, thank you, Marie and Pam. Yes, it looks very nice, doesn't it? So I just lifted it up while I dry it. By doing this, the ink also goes into, like, the paper texture which is really nice So there we go. So there is our waterfall effect kind of with our um, butterflies. And then what we're going to come and do is I think we're going to come in. I know this is going to seem a little bit odd and out of character, but I think we're going to use a spatula for this bit too much but just a little bit of gesso on it and if you need a template to do this bit for the circles you can I'm just going to free form it with my thing here so there we go so I don't want them to be exactly perfect There we go. Let's drag that out a bit. I know you can't really see the white yet, but you will be able to, I promise. Okay. 
And then... So we just scrape down that spatula to get the rest of that off of it. Oh, I've had an avalanche. I've had an avalanche every week. Oh, I need to put my desk up. Here we go. Oh, that's the wrong water cough out. Sorry, wrong one. Doesn't have the client I'm looking for. No, that sounds really odd, but trust me. Doesn't have that orange. Well, not anymore. I used it all on the other one. So we've got this orange here, which we're just going to put some water into. We really want to get the orange to activate with the watercolour, or with the water. We want the pigment or the watercolour to act with the water. And then what we're going to come and do is we're going to go come up with a sponge. Get a bit of that on there so because we've activated the watercolor, we can now use it as a kind of a paint. So, if you are running out of paint colors, I do suggest this, it's not going to be permanent, but you know, because it's watercolor, but it will look nice. And then, there we I'm just going to come and stamp this on and this is to match our orange butterflies and the reason why we're using watercolor will come quite clear in a sec we also want to keep this nice and light and I think a bit like airy fairy I think would be the way I would describe it because we're on the page about butterflies so you know bound to be a bit more airy fairy There we go. So we've got some orange on there. And then we're just going to re-wet it a bit. I know I said we weren't going to use really well techniques. Oh, I can hear myself. All right, here we go. And then we're going to come in with red, as requested a couple of weeks ago, to do something red. We're going to use a bit of red tonight. Just a tinsy bit, not too much. Just enough to make sure our butterflies match. We're just going to come and flick it on. And I'm doing this one here because I do want it in a bit more of a lining. And like a bit more lines with it. So it makes a bit more of a direction going with. Our butterfly. Straighten. And we're just going to lift that up to try and get them to drip a little bit. This is fairly wet now. Goodness me. Uh, can kind of see where that is. Now we're just going to come in and dry this. And I'll lift it up to show you what we've got so far. Oh, hello, Deborah. So we're just coming in until we can see that the paper is no longer wet anymore.
Hello, to Kevin. Our family's either 15 minutes early or 30 minutes late to everything, so. Completely understandable. Okay, here we go. So we just got that one there. And now, so this is what we've got so far. Our white paint is not dry yet. And you can kind of see where it is now. I think it looks really cool currently. And then what we're going to come in is we're going to get our stencil. Our stencil. Oh, what is this stamp? There it is. Because we are going to need that. Soonish. I'm going to set our stamp down in a few places. Uh, I do think we're going to actually come in. Mm, we're going to even do marine. Mm. I did want to see how this white works, but we don't have a dark enough background for that. And I don't really want to go any darker than what it is. I'm just having a look at the colours on our butterfly sheet. Like, I know it's a bit of a stretch, but I think it would look really nice. Really leaning into that emerald type face. So here we go. Mm, I knew the spritz didn't work on this one. Mm, okay, wait a minute. If the spritz is not going to work, we're not going to use that one. I'm not going to put ourselves through the heartache of it not working. So instead, one minute. I'm just going to check that this green works. Yeah, this green spritzer works. Okay. Wouldn't it be my first choice, but you know what? I think it works. Okay, so spritzing it, you don't get a lot of detail with the small one. What if we blending brushed it? Hmm. I'm just going to put it down there and grab our blending brush. And see, look, spritzing it, because I think we spritzed it too far away and that back of the page is wet. It didn't work as well as what I hoped. Because we also want the small one, which was what I was a little bit afraid of, but it's all good. You guys suggested it, so we went with it. Um, so what we're going to do instead, is we're going to go with a few inks. Mm. What we might do is we might use a Distress re -ink. So we're going to chip sapphire oxide. So we're just going to come in and shake it a bit. We're just shaking it. So then it's all mixed in. We can't really see the difference in colour on the side of the bottle. We're at the base. So that's pretty good. Okay, and then... Put them on there. And we're just going to lightly dampen the blending brush just a little bit. I'm just doing this to protect the blending brush just a tinsy bit. And we're going to put our ink on top. Come in and hold it down tight and don't press too hard. Here we go. So we're going to have a bit of a wispy effect, which I think is pretty cool. And that is because our page is wet currently. And look at that. I think that looks amazing. I didn't know how that was going to go. I was actually really scared. Well, we're going to come and do that over here. We're not going to reload our blending brush though. 
Oh, bad putting our thing to just move. So there we go. Yeah. I do like how defined it is and how it's really bringing out our green and our pre-layers that we did because of how dark it is. I think that's amazing. I do think that that was definitely the way to go. I like the small stencil. I was afraid, but look at that detail. Look at the detail we are able to achieve with it. Just astounding. Russell is an amazing machine. He deserves a lot of praise. I'm going to do one more because we work in threes, as we know, people. But we're going to do this one quite lightly. We're not going to go too far out because it's so close towards that orange, but that green that's really just, it's popping out now. I can, I can like nearly sense the green in it, which is nice. And then I'm just going to add a little bit to our burning brush here and just drag it across. I definitely like this effect we're getting. Oh, my, I don't think I've made something that good in weeks. I'm not even joking. Right. Holy crap. That's amazing. I am impressed with myself. Sorry. Sorry, my bats. That is a lot better than what I thought it was going to turn out. I'm not joking. I thought that was going to be an absolute nightmare. Right. Blending brush and reinkers do work together and it looks amazing. Exactly, it's almost like they've moved into the background because we did that light colour first and then we added the dark. Which is just... Oh! Mate! I am surprised. Happily surprised, but surprised. Right, and then we're going to add some pink to match our butterflies here. Because we are sticking these on. But I definitely think, hey, mom, yeah. you want to come and take a photo of this? We could use it as a rice paper. What's that? You want to come and take a photo of this? I'm sorry. I just think it would make a cool rice paper. What do you think? Like rice paper of that art? I mean, the sweat. The sweatshop, also known as the lounge room, making foam stamps. Freaking oh, that page. Cool. Do you want me to, what do you want? Just take a photo, because I think we could use it as like a, there you go. as a background for a rice paper. Fine. I don't want to know about it. <laughs> I'm, 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 I've got all the acrylic backing done, I'm just about to start on the foam bits. Okay, right. You might see this as a background in one of our soon rice paper rice papers because i just think that would look really nice as a backing or as with like text overlay on it i reckon or behind bouquets of flowers sorry i would just want a repeat of this because i don't actually know how i did it um well i do because i explained it but at the same time it worked so well all right so we're going to come in with our kissy paint and a small paintbrush, and we're going to do only a few of these, so then we don't wreck the page. I'm just going to come in and do some... lines down. And then, oh, thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Mary. 
Oh, and thank you, Diane D, over on the tube. Okay, and then... Go. He should be at the dining table. If he isn't, he's in mum dad's room. Okay. I think we're done adding the pink. What do you guys think? I think that is the pink done. Ooh. I know that's a very small amount of pink for us. I understand that these lines here may not seem like a lot, but it definitely ties it together and it's going to help us when we stick down our butterflies. So we're just going to move this to one side and pull out mum's fussy cutting scissors because mine currently have glue all over them. So they are not fit for fussy cutting anymore. Which, you know, it's a bit of a moment. Right, you're gonna wave your hand and say goodnight to the ladies because I can't lift you up over my desk. Right, off you go. Copyright. Oh, it rhymed. Hmm. Okay, here we go. And then. we go so we're gonna cut out which ones do you reckon we should stick down I'm just gonna cut out a whole bunch of them but if you guys got any specific ones you want that would be great to know because this is number 28 remembering that all of our products are all of our billions um, of butterflies for today which is 42 products uh, 41 I mean, are now available because we had a stamp that just didn't quite work out but we're going to fix it up for tomorrow or Wednesday. It depends. Stamps take a bit of time to edit. Um, let's come in. So we've got that one done. We're just cutting him out because I want a bit of a clean cut look with these ones. Not like the, so remember last week we went for more of a feathered look. This week I want to go for a clean cut look. So what do I reckon? Uh, maybe this one here. To match our orange. Yes, so there will be a kit for this either tomorrow or tonight. Um, I'm going to try building it tonight. I might not have a photo for it tonight, uh, but I will definitely try building it tonight, Diane. G, I'm going to put the link in the live notifications group once it's made. Because, yeah, um, Mom's just having a bit of a rest because she did kind of overwork herself today, um, which was a bit of a worry. Um, but that's okay. trying to give her a bit of a break tonight so she's just cleaning up the phone stamps for us which is nice because they do get a little bit of um a bit of a black burn on the edge which would come off in your first stamp of the stamp but we clean it off before you guys get it so the first stamp you do is always nice and clean like all the rest that come so yeah but um I will be putting up the kit either tonight or tomorrow uh morning so yeah and I'm going to do a bit more of a comprehensive video on our socials of what exactly has been released. Because I know I showed all the rice papers, but they weren't in order. So I don't think you guys got it fully. And I'm going to show you, like, the benefits of having a rice paper and a color cut, I think. Because I, I do believe it's very important for you guys to know um, what you're buying and how cool it will look. So here we go coming in there oh and news of the week um our oldest cat madeline has lost her bell off her collar 
which is a little bit confronting. Although at least she's not the one that brings in uh, the animals as gifts. So, you know, it wasn't like she's going to catch any more animals because she doesn't do that. Madeline is too majestic for that. She sits on two different chairs all day and she goes out once a night, once a day, which is at night when she's supposed to be getting locked up for bed. Because, you know, why not? Or when Missy's decided to start a cat fight in the neighbourhood. Because Missy is stupid. Missy, our cat. So we're just coming in. I think this one as well. I'm just choosing a few. I do think we're going to need a small one after this. And we've already got an orange. So I think maybe one of the blue slash greeny ones. Maybe. Are they aqua? They're more aqua. So in the kit, we will have the we'll have the stamp. We'll have probably half a sheet of rice paper, depending on how many butterflies we use, and the small love heart. And they will be discounted, and the half the sheet of butterflies will be um, like exclusive half sheet. Uh, we might go for a full sheet. I don't know. It depends, but it's probably going to be a half sheet, um, and they will uh, be at a discounted rate. So yeah, that will is what's going to be in the kit. We always give a discounted rate for our kits because when we make kits, we're able to make the product in bulk then, and by making the product in bulk, it bulk it actually saves us a bit of time. So um, you guys might not know this, but when we do color cuts, we're trying to make them. Well, for example, when we make one of our products, Color Cuts, we try to make them in batches of this, um, well, over, batches of two never really work, just because there's not enough, uh, but we don't normally do anything over six. Um, sometimes we do do batches of ten. Uh, Aussie Birds, we do on batches of ten of cutting. But by doing that, it just gives um, the machines actually less wear and tear, and the... A computer less like problems because it's got eight machines plugged into it um, and it's like the same with the laser if we're able to do multiple of the one thing on a sheet it means that it's more efficient for us which means we don't have to charge you guys as much so that's why we give this kind of rates on kits because it's actually easier for us to make you guys a kit and we find it really fun well I do because um, trying to make dad reread some of the stuff he writes as kit instructions because he writes kit instructions for himself by the way um, it's quite hilarious <laughs> yeah I reckon a full sheet maybe I'm just going about and I'm picking and choosing I do think we probably need another orange one because these are the four we've got so far um and I chose this pink one because we did add that pink specifically for this butterfly. So that's why I chose it. And I'm either thinking like this one or we might go for this one and this one here. What do we reckon? One, two or one, two, three. Yeah. Well, I'll put you down for one, Mel. Um, and if anyone else wants one, just text me. And I can actually directly invoice it to you once I make it. But yeah, so I'll just get those... Except I'm going to build it after class tonight um, or early tomorrow morning. I do start work tomorrow morning for um, the family business at 6.30. So it would be ready around 7. Just depends what time I finish at the gym. Sometimes I get there about 6.15. 6.20. Six twenty. I average about six thirty. Because by the time I get to the shop, I want to eat my breakfast sitting down. Because I just ran four k, and then <laughs> I get back up on my feet and I go. So yeah. Oh, and you definitely want me to change before I start making product. Because boy, oh boy, oh boy. After you run four k, you do do a bit of sweating. Would you believe when you do it on the treadmill in half an hour? Just a little bit. So that's the butterfly. Lots of colour on the tag. Yes, lots of colour. This one is going to be colourful. A few of the other ones have been quite muted. Okay, and 
Did we decide on one, two, or one, two, three? Anyone got any suggestions? I know we haven't got this one on here. Oh, should we add this one? It's a nice light one. Like, it's up to you guys, realistically. I'm quite happy to do whichever butterflies because I like the sheet that we chose. Um, but yeah. Oh, thanks, Pam. So we're just coming in and cutting. I like the spotty one. Yeah, the spotty one I think would look really nice actually. Maybe if we do the spotty one. And then we'll take um, a bit of a glimpse of what we've got cut out because I have been fussing cutting for a while now. I know I'm not the fastest at it, which I'm truly sorry about. I did cut off the antennas on our spotty butterfly. There was one point where I used to cut the antennas out around things. That point is now gone. Just as a heads up moment. We'll come in and we'll draw the antennas back on, I think, to all of our beautiful butterflies. I do like how that one has overlapping. I think it's quite cool. And then maybe if we add, I reckon we just need one more. I'm just trying to think, if we get this one, here, one minute. Actually, it's more relative if we do the uh, teal or beige. I'm just going to cut both of them out just to see. One minute, like not fussy cut them, roughly cut around them and then decide. Beige, not teal. Oh, I've already got enough of that colour. Such aqua. It's actually aqua, not teal. Sorry. Alright. We're just coming around. Yeah. And we're just going to come in. Okay, and then what we do is we're just gonna actually come in, cut our base off, and put it there. I think if we put this one coming out, maybe over here. What do we think? Do we? Do we like that? 
Do we like our butterfly setting? I think it looks really cool. And then if we come in with a pencil and do a bit of a bit of doodling and some glitter, I think it'll look really nice. So let's get gluing. We are going to use gesso for these. So then once again, they're opaque like our houses from the last week. And that's just personal, personal preference. Literally. You could just use a normal gel medium and they'll go a little bit see-through. Not 100% like vellum, but still a little bit. Um, these will not be coming out of vellum. I can fully tell you that right now. Um, well, not at this current point in time. And we're also going to come in and draw our antennas in. So that some of them don't look so weird. Put Jesse on the back of that one. Stick it down. Oh. Oh. There we go. Put Jesso there. Jesso there. Uh, I'm going to peel the tag off in a second. I just kind of want there to be like a half missing butterfly wing, I reckon, on the page, which will be really nice to put a word coming out of like a butterfly wing that's missing the rest of its butterfly. I don't know how it's going to go, though. Like, let's be fully honest. It might not work fully. Also, we've been thinking about what word we want to use. Got lots of options. Whole oh, dictionary, in fact. Well, hello, Bronnie. Yes, it's our new release, Billions of Butterflies, today. Be careful sometimes with sticking down the gesso. Once you get a bit of gesso on your fingers, it starts to go everywhere. And it might look you better now. That's better. There we go. Scrape it off. Come and glue both sets of wings on. Let's hope this works. Because um, if it doesn't, then it might leave some white patches that we've got to fix up. Which won't be particularly fun. So while that glue dries, because we want to leave the glue as long as possible to dry before lifting it up because of the thing we've done. So we do that. So we'll add some white. Okay, just. Looks a bit intentional when we got some white on the butterflies there. It's just to make it a bit more intentional. Just grabbing a little bit on the thumb and scraping it down sideways. See, just a little bit. Oh, that's a bit too much actually. Just a little bit and then just scraping it up and down. Sideways, there we go. And then what we are going to come and do next, so we're going to put the lid on our gesso. We'll just actually, let's grab our orange pen. Does this end work? Or do we want to use the fine tip end? Oh, our fine tip end barely works. That end it is. It's because it went through paint last time, which is a bit of a me problem. Or me fault. Right, and then we're just going to come in and do a few butterflies. I mean, not butterflies, a few love hearts. And our orange pen. 
as you can see there and there which I think just looks really nice and if we do over here as well and then oh, we need one over there just to bounce those two out all about creating balance in the page and then if we just come in and do a bit of a pretend script writing yeah, and we're just going to do a bit of pretend script writing there and over here as well. Just remembering that we are going to lift this tag up eventually in a second or two. But the point of us doing this random script writing is so that when we come in to do it out in tans with the same colored pen, it doesn't look so out of place because we've already got it on our page. See how that works. Um, okay, and then let's see how we go opening up our tags so just holding our butterflies down that do cross over the segment um, oh. that tag oh, we did leave some of it behind but that looks that's a pretty cool tag we'll be able to do something with that during the week flying free oh I do like that well thank you Raquel so we just removed our tag and now as you can see we have left a little bit of a mess there. So we're going to come in with our gesso. I'm just going to lift it up to show you the mess that we kind of left behind a little bit. So we left behind, so it, it, it didn't do clean tears obviously because it's rice paper so we're just going to come and stick down that wing a bit more and this body of this butterfly a bit more with some gesso and then just to keep with the theme of how the other ones were stuck down and then um diane d over on the tube suggested that we do the title for well, the word flying furry i think that looks right i think that's i think that would be quite nice so i definitely think we're going to go ahead with that one you can do a bit more painting. Sorry, people. Well, can I have some white to do the black bits? You haven't done all the colour yet. Yeah, I've basically. All the colour's got to be completely finished. All the colour is done. <sighs> no all reason. the coats of all the colour. You can't recoat the colour once you've got the black on. Sorry, everyone. Art class is in. Yes, can't you tell? We nearly done, we just got a word to go. Okay, so let's go with our great ideas on words. Yes, yeah, I think um, Diane D's hit the money right on there, we're flying free. So let's see. So she said she'd complete the form. So we can just hold the mail. I don't know. I think I'm gonna scripty write it. What? She gave you back the original? No. I think you have to have the original. Why are these still out on the counter? You need to eat these now. She, she just, just yep. Yeah. Can you do this from the way for her? She can't use the freezer. Yes, she can. Each fridge. She's opened up that fridge. Oh, it, ah. so I'm just using the ruler real quick, just 
I'm trying to teach. He's opening that up a bit. Right. Because you can't really see that down there. And I did handwrite that. I've got flying free. See? And that there is that. And then I think what we just need is just a little bit. And it's officially degenerated the argument, so we're going to try and finish this off real quick. So, I think that looks pretty much done. What do you guys think? I'm quite happy with that. Actually, one minute. Can I go away with that? Can I just a little bit of ink there? I'm sorry. It just needs it. It's pink. It always needs it. Oh, shit, we've got an overlap there. Let's just put that book over. Oh, we should not be using Mom's Fossey Girl for this for that. We'll get in trouble. We need to use the Tim Holtz scissors at our end. And of course, it's got wet paint on it. There we go. So that there is our page for the night. So thank you all for coming. Uh, like I said, the bundle will be up either later tonight or early tomorrow. I've got my lines on the list for it. Um, so all of our billions um, of butterflies products are now live on our, our website. Um, the easiest way to find them is on the What's New tab. Uh, and yeah, so make sure if you like it, come buy it because they are, look how nice it is. And you can make this into kind of like a 3D pro, 3D in a sense on your, um, pages or cards because you can put down the rice paper down as 2D and then foam up your butterfly on top of it, like parts of it, or even fold the wings up and like make it like fly and like it like a bit of like a 3d effect on your projects now but thank you all for your lovely comments tonight and for watching um if you're watching this letter thank you as well and we shall be back tomorrow morning at 9 30 a.m in our subscription group uh for mum's card making class we are using the poppies kit this week which is an amazing collection once again um and yeah uh if you're not on subscription group the next free class we're doing is on friday night which you want to watch because um i kind of leaked what was coming on friday part of the product range uh this afternoon on facebook and instagram if you saw that video of amelia stealing a stencil uh the product in it was actually secret i didn't know that uh, obviously 
the video has been taken down now. Um, but if you saw it, you've got a heads up on what's coming. And uh, kudos to you on that because that's an amazing sneak peek. But because um, it was literally over a minute of looking at new products that is not going to be released for days. Uh, but thank you all for coming. And uh, yeah, we shall see you tomorrow morning. If not, Friday night. So have a great week and see you all later. Bye.